let us have here a problem. Let us try to solve this problem. An inverted circular cone with a height of 12 meters and a radius of 5 meters is filled with water to a height of 9 meters. How much work is required to empty the tank by pumping all, the, all of the water to the top of the tank? So, ipapump daw ito uh, to the top, dito pa dadaanin. And meron tayong inverted right circular cone. 12 meters yung ating, uh, 12 meters yung ating total height. Tapos may laman siya na hanggang 9 meters, ano? Sa height. And then we have a radius of 12 meters. So, kung 9 meters to, 3 meters na lang yung natira. Okay. I have here illustrated the problem. Ito yung water water level natin. Okay. So, water surface. Now, let us try to uh, solve this problem. Ang sabi sa atin sa work Work is equal to the force multiplied by the displacement. Okay. Work that F that displacement. But what is the force equal to? Ano ba yung ating force? So F that displacement. That is the that product of our two vectors force and displacement that is equal to but this f here can be written as uh, f is equal to ma in this case no? in this case vertical yung ating uh, acceleration at uh, yung y direction yung ating pag-uusapan it will be mg but to, what is the mass of that substance inside in the system? The mass of water is uh, given to be the mass density. You know? Mass density rho is equal to, this is a constant, 1,000 uh, kilograms, 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. 1,000 kilogram per cubic meter. Now, knowing the unit of this one, this rho here, yung kilogram unit ng mass, yung cubic meter unit ng volume, therefore, there we have it, the formula for rho, mass per unit volume. So, if we want to get the mass, so the mass will be equal to the volume multiplied by rho. So rho multiplied by the volume. And we are going to substitute it here. We try to substitute that here in this equation. So we have force is equal to rho is constant and uh, g is also constant. Try to erase this one. So rho g times what? Times uh, b. Okay. Rho g time times b. There you have it. The formula for f. Now upon getting this f, we can now substitute it back here therefore w is equal to what rho g and the volume multiplied by what the displacement d so we can have these two constant outside the integral sign so 
can say this is actually the integral of pd from from 3 to 12 because we are going to empty this this tank so from 3 to 12 okay. but um, let us try to uh, let us try to analyze what is this b all about that volume is the volume of this uh, water here. Now, uh, we do not know, uh, we do not know uh, a certain height, but we know uh, that is 9, but we are going to uh, integrate it. Kaya ang gagawin natin, kukuha tayo ng uh, isang uh, strip, ano? We will insert a strip palakihin natin, pakita natin yung strip na yan. Okay. So, if you try to notice that strip there, palakihin pa natin. Okay. It will be a form of a uh, cylinder. No? So, it will be in the form of a cylinder. That strip uh, ginawa natin. Let us try to do, draw that strip now so we have this uh, strip okay and we have this thickness of that strip okay and we have this r the radius of that strip and we call this one as dy Increment, no? So, i, i, i integrate natin siya from here, this level, up to this level. No? So, what will be the work done to get this uh, volume that is from 3 to 12? So, uh, but what is the work done by this one? But what is the displacement? This displacement here. For example, we do not know a certain uh, value from this one to here. Let us just assign, let us just call this one as y. From here to the top, we call it y. So, therefore, uh, let us try to uh, Evaluate what is the volume of a cylinder. For example, we have a cylinder like this. Okay, a cylinder like this, and we have a circular cylinder. That will be the area of the base, area of the base multiplied by the height. So the area of the base is pi r squared multiplied by each if this is the height and this is the radius so that is the height and that is the radius so now let us try to uh, let us try to get the volume of this one the volume of this disk so it will be having this this now. This is the thickness of that this. Okay. The volume is equal to pi r squared multiplied by dy. Pi r squared dy. Then po yung ating volume. But we have a problem. We have dy here and we have r here. So, kailangan natin ma-express itong r in terms of y. Uh, let us try to look at this triangle here. Can you see this triangle that I am seeing? Okay. okay. That, there's a triangle and there's r here. 
there will be five here five meters and here we have from here to bottom we'll have 12 meters okay so that is 12 meters and we call from here to here as y okay so we say by uh, by similar triangle by similar triangles we say 5 is to the whole thing 12 as r is to this one this value here but what will be that one that is if this is 12 and this is y that is actually 12 minus y so o is to r over 12 minus y so yan po yung ating uh, magiging equation therefore if you want to get r in this case r is equal to 5 over 12 multiplied by 12 minus y so there you have it we have 5 over 12 12 minus y and we have the r now we are ready to substitute this r in this equation here okay so uh, let us try uh, let us try to do that okay but first let me erase all of this pi r squared dy tandaan lang natin yan pi r squared dy yung volume and then the work will be this one okay okay natin so we have to erase this okay. 5 over 12 12 minus y okay. so let us try to erase this now erase this one up And let us try to bandito pwede nati erase. Yan. And then we rewrite W is equal to rho D, the integral of the volume, which is pi R squared dy multiplied by d from 3 to 12 okay. so let us uh, erase this now we already resolved for r r has already been resolved as uh, 5 over uh, 12 multiplied by 12 minus 5 all over 12 12 minus y okay so we will just substitute it here in this formula but first what is this d this d is actually y because if we try to analyze the problem and we have this uh, cone here and this is your elementary strip here and you say this is a value of y okay. it will be integrated it will be the work will be done from here up to here that will be the displacement and that way is varying from 12 to 3 so the displacement is simply y okay so we are now ready to uh, plug in the values what will be the uh, knowing r 
is equal to 5 over 12 and 12 over y, we say w is equal to 5 over w is equal to uh, rho and then g okay times the integral of that is from 3 to 12 pi that is pi and the, then this is r squared no r squared is pi over 12 times 12 minus y this will be squared and then d will be multiplied by y times dy so yan yung ating uh, equation ano? let us try to simplify this w is equal to rho g okay. this is 25 okay, the integral of 12 uh, from 12 to 3 the integral of uh, 25 pi over 144 Ang may iwan dito is 12 minus y quantity squared. And then you have to multiply that by y dy. So yan po yung ating uh, equation. This will be our working equation. Let us try to check this one. 25 pi this is 5 squared, 25 multiplied by pi, 144, okay? And that is 12 minus y squared times y dy. So we try to uh, integrate now. Of course, that is from 3 to 12. Bago natin integrate, let us try to uh, simplify. Ilabas na natin to. Pwede naman natin ilabas to because this is constant. No? We can take this out of the uh, integral sign we say w is equal to uh, 25 pi 25 pi rho g over 144 may 144 pi and then we have the integral of uh, from 3 to 12, the integral of, uh, oh, bago natin integrate, let us try to expand this. This will be 144. Okay. The square of the first, and then twice the product of their square roots, 12, negative 12y times 2 negative 24 y and then the square of the last will be plus y squared okay. that's the square of the last and then natira pa tayong y doon that will be multiplied by y at meron pa rin tayong dy y dy okay so therefore we are now ready to in no we are not yet ready we are we have to uh, distribute first so we have w is equal to uh, 25 pi rho g over 144 mouse lang po ano kaya ang pangit ng sulat oh, times the integral of uh, we distribute this one 144y minus 24 
y squared and then plus y cube and then that will be multiplied by dy okay. 144y 24y squared plus okay. that will be from 3 to 12 okay. let us now integrate w is equal to this whole thing here 25 pi rho g over 144 and this will be we are now integrating so let us uh, get rid of this uh, integral sign now we are now integrating that's why we are having a block okay so this one will be y squared over 2 and then there is 144 on the sides and then we have minus y cube over 3 and then there is 24 on the sides here and then last one will be plus y to the port y to the port and then what over four and then ang ilalagay na lang natin limits is from three to twelve ayan ganyan yan now once nag integrate ka wala na integral sign limits na lang matitira so ngayon naman ipapasok natin yung limits w equal to uh, 25 25 pi 25 pi rho and then g over 144 25 pi rho g 144 dito ipapasok natin yung 144 over 2 that will be 72 72 and that will be the upper limit minus the lower limit, 12 squared. Okay, 72, 12, 12 squared minus, this is 24 over 3, 8. 8, uh, what? That will be 8. And this will be 12 cubed. 812 cube plus 12 to the fourth 12 raised to the fourth power over 4 so this is the upper limit and we will have the lower limit minus the lower limit will be what the lower limit will be um, 144 divided by 72 72 times 3 and that will be squared wala na yung minus 24 8 na lang to 8 8 times 3 cube 8 times 3 cube plus 3 to the port, okay, 3 raised to the port, all over 4, okay, so that will be our uh, working equation, now let me, let me try to erase this one to make some, uh, to make some space, okay, let us make some space here, Right. 
So, yan daw yung ating working equation. W, W will then now be what? 25 pi and then rho G over 144. Okay, let me grab some calculator and try to evaluate the uh, values of this one. Calculators. Let's try to evaluate. We have 144, that is 12 squared times 72. That will be 10,368. 10,368. Okay. That will be the first one. The second one is minus. We have 12 cubed. 12 cubed times 8. 13, 13, 8, 2, 4, 13, 8, 2, 4, and then we have 12 to the 4th over 4, we have 12 raised to the 4th, we have raised to the 4th, over 4 or oh, that is positive 5184 5184 okay. so that's positive 5184 that's the upper limit minus another parenthesis here the lower limit will be uh, 72 Okay, that will be 9 times 72. 9 times 72 equals 648. 648. And then we have minus 3 cube. We have 3 cube times 8. 216. 216 and then plus 3 to the port what is 3 to the port always clear 3 raised to the port over 4 20.25 20 20 20.25 so the work will be work will be equal to this is 25 pi rho which is 1000 g which is 9.81 and 144 and then we have to evaluate this one what will be the value of this one and what will be the value of this one and we have to subtract Okay, let us grab the calculator and ten three six eight minus one three eight two four plus five one eight four one seven twenty eight one seven twenty eight dito sa red. Sapula is 1728. And then we have to subtract this violet one here. Okay, 648 minus 216 plus 20.25. 45225. So, 
determinant four 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 five two five two point twenty five. So this whole thing here sa loob ng parenthesis will be equal to 1728 minus 452.25 and all you have to do is to multiply that by 25 and then pi and then 1000 3 and then 9.81 burahin nga natin ito masyado masikip okay we have 9.81 Okay, therefore, meron pa sa ilalim na 144. Let us try to evaluate that using our calculator. 1, 2, 75.75. Divide na agad natin sa 144 para mixi na lang. Tapos times natin sa 25. Times natin sa pi, nasa ba yung pi nito? Times pi. Times natin sa 1,000. Times natin sa 9.81. 6825. I do not know about this um, computation. Ha? 6... Um, 68 25 6825932 6825932.25.25 4 decimal places po tayo the unit will be in joules. Okay. But naging joules, this will be in kilogram kilogram per cubic meter. This will be in meter per second squared. So na may unit tayo dito na newton per cubic meter dito. Okay. Newton per cubic uh, meter. Then divide natin sa meter squared. Okay. So, meron tayong uh, Newton per Newton per Ano na lang dito? Ta Newton per cubic meter sa taas Divide natin sa Ito ay meter squared Also, Newton meter meter squared Okay, that will be Ang natira natin will be Newton meter po ang matitira Ang matitira ay newton meter that will be in joules, okay? Uh, newton meter. So there you have it. We have an example of uh, a system that is using integration as uh, the solution for getting work. Pasensya na po at medyo una ang pangit ng sulat dahil uh, mouse lang po itong aking ginagamit. But anyways, uh, I hope uh, mabagal, bumabagal yung ating uh, narration kasi nga sinasabayan ko lang itong mouse. Ano? So I hope uh, this can help uh, with the review of uh, with your review. So until the next uh, example.